When should cycloplegia be used for subjective refraction? In general, the refraction through the natural pupil is preferred, if accommodation can be controlled. This is because dilating the pupil often uncovers optical aberrations that can alter the refraction. On the other hand, it's often essential to uncover the full amount of hyperopia in a symptomatic young adult, or to prevent accommodative spasm during the refraction of a child. Cycloplegia is usually indicated in young patients, in hyperopes in general, in patients with symptoms of intermittent blurring or eye strain, and in patients who ask for excessive minus sphere during the manifest refraction. Tropicamide is usually adequate for adults, refracting 20 to 30 minutes after giving the drops. Cyclopentylate, 1%, is usually used for children, refracting 30 to 60 minutes later. Some dark-eyed children require atropine, given over a two- or three-day course for full relaxation of accommodation. Watch out for atropine toxicity, though, with flushing and fever being the most obvious signs, especially in infants. Remember before giving cycloplegia that reading ads cannot be determined after the patient is dilated, and phorias and tropias are often affected. 